My name is Dr. Gary Glassman. I'm a full-time practicing endodontist. The one tooth that is the most difficult to get numb is the lower second molar that exhibits irreversible pulpitis, the proverbial hot tooth. It's so inflamed that the anesthetic molecules get pushed out of the way and can't penetrate effectively through the lipid-rich nerve membrane. Barring any allergies or medical contraindications, the first thing I'll do is provide the patient with a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory to reduce the inflammation, like 400 milligrams of a single dose of ibuprofen one hour preoperatively. Typically, the inferior alveolar nerve block has a very high failure rate. So what I do to increase my success is to administer a modified Gau-Gates block with a 27 gauge short needle. A needle that won't deflect as it penetrates the tissues. I have the patient open as wide as they possibly can so the condyle translates forward as much as possible. With my finger on the tragus of their ear, I direct the needle towards my finger originating from the opposite lower canine until bone is felt. Then I administer the local anesthetic very slowly until the carpule is empty. I take usually about 60 seconds for each carpule. Now, the magic really happens with the anesthetic that I use. I first administer two carpules, 3% carbocaine with no epinephrine, very slowly. Then I follow that up with lidocaine, one in 100,000 epinephrine. The carbocaine, no epinephrine, penetrates into the nerve beautifully. And the lidocaine, one in 100,000 epinephrine, keeps it in the area. And then I finish off with a buccal infiltration of 4% articaine, one in 100,000 epinephrine. The combination of the three provides fast-acting, profound, and long-lasting anesthetic, allowing the procedure to take place painlessly and predictably.